Hi guys, welcome to the second tutorial on programming Arduino from MATLAB. So for this, uh, I'm going to use a potentiometer. So here you can see that one pin of a potentiometer is connected to the 5 volt of Arduino Mega and uh, the middle pin that I have connected to the A0 pin that is analog pin of Arduino Mega and as usual I have connected my LED to the third pin of Arduino. So here you can see that I have connected my LED already to the third pin of Arduino. Now I am going to connect my slider to the A0 pin of Arduino. So I am going to connect my so here my potentiometer. So I am going to connect this to A0 pin. Let's program for this potentiometer or a rotary sensor. Uh, go to Simulink library, click it, and go for a new model. Go to Simulink support package for Arduino. And so here I'm going to use my analog to use my analog input so I'm going to read from my potentiometer so I have connected that to zero pin of Arduino Mega I'm going to read this pin and display the output so I'm going to sync click the display here connect the display to it so that's it for the connection for this uh, tutorial for this particular tutorial I'm gonna save this file as analog read so I'm gonna run this program now Change it to external, change this into infinite, and go to tools, run on target, prepare to run. And select your device. So it's connecting to the Arduino Mega now and the model is now running so here you can see it is running and we don't have any displaying data so I'm going to change my potentiometer so here so you can see on the display whenever I rotate the knob here the data is getting changed so it is in 1023 now. So if I rotate this again, so I'm going to stop this. Let's do another program with this. I'm going to save us that program as analog read and LED PWM save it and open the library browser and go with the math here math operations and choose divide so here we have divide place it here and pick PWM pin 
and change this pin to 3 that is the LED that, con that has connected to the third pin of Arduino and connect this divide to there and one end of it to the input from the analog pin and we need a constant so go to sources you can pick a constant from there and connect this to so the value uh, we are getting from the analog input is it is uh, changing from 0 to 1024 but uh, we need to supply a PWM uh, value as 0 to 255 so I'm going to change this constant to 4.5 uh, if you want to uh, give an exact value you can divide the 1024 by 255 so you will get an approximate value of 4.01 something so I'm going to give uh, this constant as 4.5 here and everything is fine I already saved this I'm going to save it for one more time and I'm gonna run this program now I can also add another display so that I can know what is the value that is comes after dividing the original analog value so let's see how this works on our Arduino so now the model is running on the Arduino so if I increase this so here you can see the changes in the LED as well as the R display in the Simulink live uh, window. So here I will change the brightness of the LED and I'm going to reduce the brightness. So that's it. So if you are satisfied with this program I can stop this now all you have to do is just click the deploy to hardware and it has programmed so there is no connection between the uh, uh, simulink uh, to our Arduino Mega hardware now so here you can see that the run button is uh, not running so the program has uploaded to the hardware so if I change this potentiometer value so here you can see that LED goes from zero brightness to the high brightness so here there you can see on the cam window that the LED is, goes from zero to 255 so the program is now deployed to the hardware so that's it for this tutorial.